Hey guys, what's up? CHG Tech Bus here today, and I'm here with another app that pays you. If you haven't seen any of the previous episodes, go ahead and click on the link in the top right hand corner. It'll take you to a playlist with all these apps in them. So today I'm going to be talking about Survey. Now, I think this is just called Survey. Here, I'll get on the App Store and search it for you so you can see. Just go ahead and type that in and see if this app comes up. Pretty sure, yep, survey.com mobile. So I guess there's a website called survey.com. And it doesn't have a very good rating. Um, a lot of people just say that you shouldn't waste your time with it. You don't get that much money. And I can see what they're saying because a lot of surveys won't pay you anything. It's like, why would you want to fill out a survey if it's not going to give you any money? So I see their argument there. And a lot of people are complaining about that. But I really don't do surveys that don't pay you. I just do the ones that pay you. So that's why that so many people are complaining about the app. And I'm not sure if the website's the same way or not, but this is the app right here, the mobile version. So when you open the app, you're gonna have to make an account. And once you do that, you'll be presented with this screen same layout but you'll have way different numbers like you won't have any earnings there's career earnings all you've made and then to the left of that is your current balance i believe you need seven dollars to cash out it's kind of a weird number i don't know why they did that but it pays you through paypal and then this uh 33 is how many surveys i completed and then surveys available are none it is by default when you download the app it gives you notifications whenever surveys are available and I have that set so whenever surveys are available I see them on my phone from notifications and if they don't pay any money I just don't do them and it tells you before you do the survey how much it'll reward you when you finish and you also have to qualify for it so if it asks you about a local business it'll ask you have you been there if you answer yes you'll be able to do the survey if you answer no you won't be able to do it and then over here down in settings this is just a cash out, sign out, and you know, you can change your language and stuff. And it doesn't really say anything about your account. That's over two over to the left. So like I said, cash out's kind of weird. And then there's your PayPal email you have to enter, which I still have to uh, enter. So going back to home, when you get surveys, there'll be a bunch of categories here. I have a feeling whenever you um, get this app, you'll have a bunch of surveys. I guess it depends where you live and stuff on how many you get. You go places, you get more surveys available. So here's one I have. It didn't say I had it. I guess it didn't update. So see, here's a reward for this one. Shoe repair in Pennsylvania. So there is a reward for this one. So I'll just go ahead and do it. All right, so I'm back and I did the two surveys actually i had two waiting for me i don't know if you noticed but before i had one dollar and forty cents now i have one dollar and fifty cents so that was two five cent surveys so whatever i got ten cents in a matter of what, 30 seconds it took me to complete those surveys and i did qualify for both of them so now that you've seen this app you can go ahead and download it if you want to I mean, the reviews are pretty bad, I have to say. I mean, the average rating for this app is two stars. But if you want to go ahead and get it, uh, I have a link in the description. I don't believe there's a referral system for this at all. So if you want to go grab the app, that's cool. If you don't, that's fine. That's today's episode, and I'll see you some other time.